both teams definitely want to clinch in this win, and I think both of them have shown that they're very eager to take it as well. And I like the space, and now the strap gets dropped down. S4 might just be dead, just second strap coming in. Yeah, he just looks to man fight it up, and he knows he's gone. And that's going to be Rams. He's getting the first blood. That's a hell of a way to come out, swinging. Four seconds. Whoa, here comes the sniper. The split comes out just in time, and now they turn it. What do they got? They got the Cyclone there onto the Sniper. They're gonna be able to stun him up and lock him down, possibly. Yep. Lifting him up. The Roar comes in on the Puppy. He wants to drop the Rock here. Make this a multi-man stun with the Epi Channeling. Look at that damage coming in from Zai. He'll be able to bring down one second Cyclone onto the Sniper as uh, he actually picked up a kill on a Puppy. They're ready to just line up everything onto him, though. Goes into the tree line, gets stunned, gets dropped. And that's gonna be Eknar picking up a kill onto the Brewmaster. And Kuroki actually stole the finger? Wow, it makes it a three for two while Brewmaster's still running away. But a buyback, uh oh, he's committing heavily for this one right now. Gonna drop a shrapnel on top of Arteezy. This is a big kill for him to get. Gonna get the right clicks out there. Arteezy's still alive for now. Well, a bit of steal on the shrapnel comes in from Kuro, but the snipe should be enough. Actually, it's Arteezy dying to Ramses, but turning around, dropping triple shrapnel on top of State Kuro. Going big with these steals right now, and now they even find the Beastmaster, but is there enough to take him out? Your own shrapnel, you have your own <laughs> sniper, basically. That shrapnel, man, getting to kill the sniper. Yeah, getting slowed up, getting caught out on the side, and do we see Ramses try to stop this? The Hawk is out, and they can see this completely, but blinking back, finding a two-man impale again. Double clap and the fissure from Kuro, stealing that one away from the Earthshaker. What the hell? Kuro playing out of his mind right now, and now the Aegis going over to the troll from Team Secret. Arteezy will be more than happy to just take that one up. And Ramses, oh... Uh... Oh, being cute, but the there's... Oh, okay, never mind. TPC, he's fine. Kuro has enough gold for his blink. Dyer's and with this, these fights are going to be such a nuisance. Luckily, they do have the Fusel Blade, though, so... They need to, they can... Okay. They find our TZ. They're gonna snipe him, finger him, everything. But Kuro try to save him. They even commit the roar, and they do bring him down. But Kuro's wicked sick. They get a full epi on top of Ramses, but it's gonna be not enough to take him out. And they finally kill off Kuro, and State gets a double kill. And now looking to finish off Zai the boar, slowing him down just a bit. They get themselves the shrapnel on top, and blinking forward. Zai should be dead here. Can you make these limping? He's only four of his six legs, but Triple there kill. you go. Triple kill for the sniper. Suddenly he's the most fun. They have a troll. They can just take it. But they have a good hawk. Like the beast hawk is pretty good here. Mhm. Mm uh, the hawk has always been good. We've seen a lot of beast today, and uh, just seeing the power. Of it. Played it first, but Echo Slam comes in with the blink. Eknar trying to do what he can. He gets lift up. He's telekinesis, but then the rock is dropped on a two. S4 blinking, getting the split off. How do they deal with this right now? Puppy getting stunned up, and the Phantom Lancer's illusions from Quista picking up the kill. He's able to doppelganger onto the high ground, and now they're chasing, getting a double spike knockup from Zai. Quista trying to kite and run away, but there's no way he can get away from this right now. Doppelganger not up for another five seconds. He's kind of juking and jiving towards the camp. He tries to get himself killed by the creeps, and that's just a full wipe in the attempt at trying to stop Roshan. I'd argue. It is really difficult to win a team fight against Secret unless Secret mess up big time. Mm -hmm. They have to sequence it pretty badly, or you know, stack up stuff that's not really. Oh, that's oh. Work. roar, spikes, finger, everything. But there comes the counter initiation, the double rock in there. Eknar does come in with the echo slam, but Warlock Puppy picks up himself a kill. Now our Tor is just going insane right now. He's finding himself a killing spree. He takes down the Earth Shaker, and that's just going to be a two for one. But even off that one kill on the panda, they still come out ahead oh, from SMZ. What are you doing? Oh, he's getting caught out. So cocky though. Like he blinked forward even. He blinked forward. I he think tried he tried to steal. To steal. Stall, man. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was incline. And honestly, PL just needs to, you know, create a, create a lot of confusion, chaos for the sniper to hit. He doesn't even need to be that big carry. Oh, blinking in, finding a stun onto Eknar. They're gonna commit for this right now, but the Roar actually gonna stop Take Wakey for a little bit. They get themselves the Rock stun onto three. They're gonna chain up a lot of the damage here. The upheaval is on him. State 21, there's nothing he can do about this. He's gonna get rushed down by the Brulings. Then a stun into the Quista. Can they actually get this kill? That was the question. The Hex to stop Artor for a little bit. They cycle it up the Lion, and now they're going in onto 
Ramses, can they get this kill? It's just the Brewmaster by himself. Quista got a double kill, actually, but can't stop S4. And uh, S4's gonna kind of left his own accords. He's stuck here without any mana, and it seems that Secret are gonna lose this fight with a triple kill for the PL. That was... He's maybe looking to use that last charge before anything, who knows. Uh, I think at this point it's even smoke. more worth it to have it uh, have it on you. Like that one charge is not worth it. I feel just because your illusions, honestly, they just oh, get so much stronger. Looking forward, they find the roar and they're going to be able to take it down. Puppy, it seems. Yes, they are. They get his kill. But now turning around, Artur with the BKB active, getting slowed up a little bit by the boar, but blinking in. Zai gets a two-man spike, and the haste rune will keep Ramses alive. But do they turn? They get the spirit lance in onto. Artur, they get the axes too, just so much damage on top, and Quista just going to town, gets a dominating spree, Kuro can't get out of this fight now, even with the steal on the snipe, but that's it, even with the Drunken Haze, S4 is forced to use his split, and uh, can he find anything, one versus three right now. Here for scary faces, they kind of want to initiate at some point, but at the same time they need to get Puppy, they need to get Puppy and e ideally even Zai in that initiation. They need to kill both heroes first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blinking in. Actually, he doesn't connect it with the clap, though, but he does use the split. And now an Echo Slam, a huge Echo Slam, but he gets countered out by those rocks and by the stun from Zion. Look at the damage go. They even force out the Aegis from the troll. And the sniper is forced to retreat back in towards the base. A Primal Roar comes in. Gonna do all the damage he can to burst down our tour here. Spikes, finger, everything committed just to kill him off. Doppelganger 2B gets the BKB. The Echo Slam that was stolen by Kuro doing so much damage there. Turning around, forcing Sniper to buy back too. Ekinar can't get her secret. Stalling there was just a stolen Fisher basically. But SFC, they still want to go for this. I don't see why not. Like. Let's see. Well, technically, they have oh, everything up, right? Spike comes in, Zai's being initiated on, there's still no split. Battle Trance comes on in, there's one rock, and then we see the second rock come out, the Echo Slam on top, there's the second rock. This is a huge fight for Secret right now, but Quista on a monster kill, able to take down the troll, they force a buyback out of Zai, Puppy out of mana, gonna retreat out, Quista out of health though, so he gets out of that one. Gonna defuse one of them, he's got six seconds on the other charge while he gets chased out by S4. Can he stay alive? He's getting slowed down so heavily, and Puppy gets a triple kill. The assassination isn't enough for S4 to pick up the kill. What that's getting in? Nah, looks like they just want to go high ground. I mean, now it's it's not a bad timing considering Puppy doesn't have anything up. Another 30 seconds. Yeah, does Puppy even have buyback? Uh, he does. He have buyback. does. Okay. They got another oh, stun there on a Zai. They're gonna be able to chain everything together. The roar comes in from Kuro though, and uh, it does seem that State will be able to take down Zai. That was his buyback from the last fight coming in too. They're gonna focus out on the State quite heavily. S4 still chasing him down. Still has the split available. They can't interrupt it. So a bit of a stun coming in while Quista just diving onto Kuro. He's gonna be doing so much damage here and trying to actually man mode it. It's Artur Tor. Look at him go. The damage coming in with the help of the Fizzer. He's gonna be able to take down this kill, it seems. Oh man, Arteezy, is he dead? No, he's not! Oh, the rock saving his life! Arteezy's gonna be able to get out. No, the snipe picks up the kill. They force a buyback out of Kuro. Puppy doesn't have the refresher up for another 10 seconds. They're gonna just stop. Yeah, it just destroys this. So, Artur is gonna get the Aegis, we're gonna have S4 picking up the uh, cheese, maybe? No, actually good design. Yeah. So, we'll see. The uh, strap is gonna delay them quite a bit and be pretty annoying for the poke-wise. SF, actually, S4, excuse me, just goes in with that blink dagger and just pops the split. He's gonna be really careful about dying, but BKB coming out from Artur, he's still blocked by that fissure. We're gonna see ourselves a finger on a puppy, the snipe committed to Echo Slam onto only one person, and that's Artur, but they kill Puppy before he can get off any of the rocks, and he's gonna TP back in towards this fight. And S4, no split, just BKB up, that's gonna be one set of rocks going down, Quista's still very tanky right now, upheaval, can he doppelgang out of this is the question, yes he can, he avoids a little bit of the epicenter damage, he's still fighting so viciously, with the Earthshaker actually buying back after he died. And it seems that this set of racks should be going down. State trying to do what he can. He's actually caught out. He's gonna be stunned up. He's gonna go down. The people on top two and Kuro stealing the Echo Slam, blinking forward, fighting so much damage. Eknar gonna go down. The sniper buying back too. Everybody's buying back. This is just an insane fight, all back and forth with the Beastmaster buyback and the sniper buyback. It seems that Secret's damage is done. They're gonna choose to back out and find themselves a gem that was on the deck. Nobody gonna pick it up. No, they choose to go back into this fight. It seems Roar coming in, Fissure out. Quiz is still fighting it up. S4. 
Warlord gonna actually Drunken Haze State make him just try to miss a little bit, but then MKB gonna go through it. Quista finds a kill on the puppy. He's in the back of this fight the entire time and falls finally. He buys back. There's no buyback for the sniper. Just Lion does respawn. He TPs and actually cancels that position. They're not gonna see it coming. Do we find ourselves in a base race scenario? All five members of SFZ are up here. Never mind, it's just PLR. For, yeah, for scary faces, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. faces, I hope they don't because you don't rat against the troll. <laughs> SF like, just blinking into the base. It's like, alright guys, it's all clear. I'm going in. And, alright. Glyph is not available for the Radiant team, so these towers are just going to absolutely melt. Rams is caught off. He's going to get Telekinese. They do find a spike in. State TPing into a really unfortunate spot. S4 is just demolishing him. The Golem's coming out too. The Rock's just killing him. Oh no, that's game. That's game with the sniper dead. Quist is still trying to hold on just a bit by killing off Kuro, but he can't do it. The split comes in. He's gonna get stunned up, locked down. He's trying to chase him as much as possible. It's an echo slam from Eknard, but the echo slam from Kuro is trying to slow down Quist. But Puppy got a double kill, and down goes the Earth Shaker. And then there's a cyclone into Quist. They just completely ignore him up. So there you have it. That's probably gonna be game three. As Quist is the last man standing without a buyback, trying to lure them outside the base. Puppy just drops the secondary rock and. That's gonna be a full five-man wipe for the only the buyback of the Rubik ends. GG should be called. Uh, this is for sure secrets game. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, um, well played from both sides, and I'm honestly quite impressed with how SFZ was able to bounce back. I mean, I think it's a completely different situation if you are ahead and keep that advantage. Um, that's one thing, but you know, getting coming back from a huge disadvantage is another. Well played to them and Team Secret, I believe. Advances to the off the land finals? Sure, actually. They're two and one in the group, I believe. I, yeah, I had everything open, but I forget. That's pretty. That's pretty much land finals. Cool.